Okay, welcome to IT145. Uh, this is the uh, Zybooks, and this is Challenge Activity 2.1.2 Basic Method Call. And this is in uh, Module 2, Week 2 Challenge Activity. There's a, a Challenge Activity in front of this one, but uh, you can hit the check button and check your answers in order to get an understanding of it. This one is, uh, doesn't have that capability so I thought I would go ahead and do this challenge activity and the following challenge activity on video to explain what's going on with these so uh, for this one they're asking us to complete the method definition to output the hours given minutes output for sample program 3.5 so uh, you can see here they've already started this method and they're calling this method output minutes as hours output minutes as hours so uh, they're defining the parameter double origin minutes that's the parameter that's going to go into this method so what we need to do is convert those minutes into hours so what we'll do is we'll say double and we'll create the variable hours and we'll say hours equal and what we're going to do is we're going to use this variable here that they're using origin minutes so we're going to say hours equals origin minutes now we realize that there are 60 minutes in an hour so the whatever's passed through here for for these minutes is going to be divided by 60 and that's how we're going to get the the amount of hours for the amount of minutes that are passed through there so we're going to put the semicolon there and then we're going to go ahead and put our system dot out so let's do that system dot out dot print and then what we're going to do is pass the hours we're going to call the hours here so so what we're doing is we're saying in this statement we're saying convert the amount of minutes that are entered here divide them by 60 so that we know how many hours that, that becomes and then right below it we're going to print the hours okay so if we go down here and we hit run we'll see that all tests pass and they're checking it by putting 210 minutes in to get three and a half hours, 3,600 minutes to get 60 hours, and zero minutes to get zero hours. So just a quick rehashing of this. They start this method here. They've already started it. And we're just continuing this method. What they want us to do is they want us to create that variable hours from the minutes given and so the minutes given so we're gonna say hours equals origin minutes that's what they're giving us original minutes divided by 60 minutes we know 60 minutes make an hour and then we're printing this variable that we just created hours and so that way we're we're creating the amount of hours based on how many minutes that they give us okay so let's move on to this next challenge okay in the third challenge for uh, section uh, module 2 section 1 the third challenge what what the uh, challenge activity is asking is method call with parameter printing formatted measurement define a method print feet inch short with int parameters num feet and num inches that prints using and shorthand end with a new line example print feet inch short five comma eight prints 
Okay, now, uh, doing this video, uh, doing this uh, challenge is a little different from this one up here because in this challenge, they've already named the method and they've already started it up here. So we're just completing the method by putting the statements in. And then this one, the difference is, is we will create the method, declare the method from the very beginning. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this public stat, static void, put that up here, paste, okay, and then we're going to create the, uh, the define the method which is print feet inch short. That's what they want us to create the new method. And let's put that up there. All right. <clears throat> and then when you call a method, you have to use uh, parentheses. And they want us to call, they want us to use two parameters. So when you're creating a method, how you create the method is you, you put the parentheses and you put your parameters inside the the uh, parentheses so they want us to use two they want us to use num feet and num inches so and they also want these to be int so let's go ahead and put our int and they want us to use num feet so let's put num feet and then we put a comma to separate that from the second parameter that they're asking us to put in here and that's num inches so let's put that in and then we close it with the parentheses now <clears throat> first time I went through this I was having a little hard time because I forgot my curly braces here so remember when you're creating a when you're creating a method the first line in the method is is your you're saying uh, here you have three options you can say public private public private or protected that's your three options here and then you have the choice of uh, static or uh, instance so we're, this is a static and then and then uh, this void so if you're if you're looking at these and you've been wondering why some of these say void if you have the word void when you're creating your method, all you're saying is, is you're not putting a return statement inside the method that you're creating. So at the end, you'll notice that some of them have return. Well, if you have a return statement, you cannot have that void there. So if you see this void, there is no return statement in the method that you're creating. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that explains the void. And then this is declaring the method name. So the declare, so creating this method, you're putting all this information here. You're putting your parentheses. You're putting your commas. So uh, each parameter you add is separated by the comma. And then you then you start the statements by putting that curly brace there. So when I was first doing this, I was leaving that out. And I was getting errors. And so um, just just make sure that you have those there. Okay, now <clears throat> we're gonna do the uh, system.out print line. So let me put that in there. System dot out print line. And we're going to put parentheses here. And now what they're wanting us to do, they want us to concatenate. So they want us to, to get this output by concatenating the inputs, num feet, num inches. So the first, uh, the first thing that they want is the feet. So we're gonna say num feet, num feet. And you know, when we concatenate, we use the plus sign. So we're saying plus. Now, uh, what we're adding now is that single quote. And so <clears throat> they got a, a hint there telling you to use the backslash. And we're going to use that backslash for that single quote. So it's an escape. So we're escaping 
where we're telling it to ignore that single quote and just uh, put it in as a character. So that's what that's doing. Now, <clears throat> one last thing. There is a space between this five and that eight. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a space here and then I'm gonna close out that before I concatenate the num inches. So num inches and again, we are going to concatenate the double quote here. So let's do that. So plus quote backslash and there's no need for a space there. So we'll just put the, uh, the uh, double quotes twice. So this first backslash is escaping that second quote. And now we just put that next quote in to close out that. And then we'll put the parentheses and the semicolon. And so that creates the, the single line system dot out print. Well, let me put the uh, period there instead of a comma. Print line number plus, which is concatenate the uh, single quote, then concatenate the num inches, and then concatenate the final double quote. All right, so <clears throat> then we have to declare the variables user feet and user inches. So let's do that. It user feet and it user inches and put a semicolon there and then finally we have to close out our uh, curly bracket so let's do that and you notice that if you put your cursor here it will show you that this curly bracket is closing this is closing out this curly bracket so this curly bracket here is closed out at the bottom of the statement down here see so that one's took care of down there but you have to add this curly bracket right here to close out your statement okay so let's hit the run all tests pass so they input 5 and 8, and they input 4 and 11, and that's your answer. So uh, that'll, do, that'll be it for this video, and I'll start working on the next video shortly. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And also, I'd like to say that uh, if you may have read some of my comments, I withdrew from this uh, class this past week, but I'm going to continue making videos and uh, uh, sharing those with you but I have other classes I'll be working on first so I'll make videos for this after I complete my work in the uh, other classes I'm in uh, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to everybody that's been subscribing I really appreciate it and for those of who haven't subscribed please do that way you keep up with these videos I'm gonna be making videos for all these IT classes that I take as I go along and uh, I hope that uh, they've been helping you guys out. Thank you, and uh, please subscribe.